we set out to add computer navigation or computer assisted surgery to total ankle replacement, a procedure we have been doing with some frequency here at this institution. We were able to devise a method to do the tibial preparation and we've published those results. What we wanted to do next was to define how to prepare the talus, but currently there is no dedicated software that we're aware of for computer navigation of the talus. And so to learn more about computer navigation, we chose a relatively common procedure, a subtalar arthrodesis, to determine how effective computer navigation may be for the foot and ankle. We're actually going to push these teeth right down to the bone so we can get this fully anchored there. And then these reflecting balls are going to need to face the system that is actually positioned toward the end of our room. The Harris heel view I have to get right, which I'm lining up now. And perhaps I could get my starting hole just slightly more lateral, so I'm going to move it just slightly more lateral. Mm, there I can play with it. Maybe I get it slightly more medial now. And now I'm going to line that Harris heel up. And then I'm going to look at my lateral view and get that right as well. A little bit more anterior there. Boom. Okay, I think we're there. What we'll do now is we'll go for the second screw. And the, the main thing I want to do is I want to find the starting point for the second screw. I don't want that to go out the medial cortex here, which would be easy to do. So I'm going to try to get the starting point for the second screw basically in the center of the calcaneus. There. And we'll need to move it over, obviously, a little bit, not that much. But the best way to find the next position is go to the AP of the foot and try to put that screw head right in the middle of the AP of the foot. So I'm going to put my guide now right here on the heel. So looking again at the Harris heel, I'm going to try to find my perfect start point. I need to go slightly more medial. And there it is, right there. Now I've got to get my lateral. I've got to go slightly more superior or proximal. And I've got that targeted pretty well now. But you can see here is another example of where these are and the screw lengths are, are here. 87 for that second screw, which 85 is probably close to right based on the experience with this. And you can see the trajectory of each of these screws where it's put it in our different planes.